Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I remember last week I was talking a little bit about data analytics and in this video I want to show you a little bit what I've done so far and hopefully this helps your store reporting and help you grow in the future in terms of your Poshmark store. So to start data analytics, you need a data, which I actually entered manually, punching on the date, the brand of the item I sold, the item name, the item type, and the size S. This is all my sales data, so it's not my inventory book, but the stuff that I've sold so far based on the time. So I select them all, and based on using that data, I can create a lot more graph, insights about my store, when is the like when is the most hot selling time or date during the month the trend line which is going kind of upwards and a count of items how many stuff i sell on each day and that is basically the basic for all this graph this is for the month of january i see a peak here on january the 18th and that's most likely the closet clear out day this is for the month of February. As you can see, there's a lot more activities. It's kind of going up and down, mostly in the weekend and also related to closet clear out, which proved my point that closet clear out is actually like the busiest time. Um, same here. It's also March and closet clear out is just killing it. The next graph is um, kind of brand, more like brand driven. Sorry, this got cut out, but basically I also did the same data analysis and based on that i come up with this graph no brand forever 21 and zara the top three that i've sold so far and you know this graphic might be a, a bit skewed because i used to sell the item that used to exist in my closet and i have a lot of unbranded items but you can see in terms of pie chart what are the most popular brands in my closet now this is the most popular item meaning you know like i sell a lot of shoes um i sell a lot of top and dresses those are the three items that are most popular in my closet i know a lot of people sell a lot of jeans and denim and honestly i think it's not really my expertise at this point i'm more focused on like a more feminine item i'd say hence the shoes the top and the dress and the brand zara came up on the list as well so the next tab is related to sizes so besides popular item i want to know what are the population of poshmark and as you can see here the most item is size s so how to create it basically i have this spreadsheet full of data i select them all go to data and pivot table this is actually google spreadsheet which is free and come up with this thing basically you need to define what are the rows and what are the values that you need so it's really depend on your question in this case i want to see based on the date because i want to see for each date how many sales i've create which is a count so you also can do descending or ascending order of the date so from the earliest to the later or late to earliest whatever you want i unhide the show totals because i don't care about that and for each values, I want a count of the item name or the item. So yeah, it generates like January 6th, I created or I sold three items and that's how it gets calculated. And this number is actually dynamic. So yeah, this is the graph that I created. You go to insert, chart, and it automatically generates a line graph because it matches the kind of data that I want I leave it as is and you can see activities from time to time in terms of my Poshmark closet and you can configure some of the stuff related to chart the graph the labels the color of the line and I'm actually looking for um, trend line to see if my store is actually improving or <laughs> degrading so yeah I see a trend line there and see the line is going up so that means that i have an improving store kool-aid so yeah so now after having this time to time graph which kind of tell me which are the busiest time of the month i also want to create other types of graphs so what do i do I go back to where my data is, which is my sheet one. And then this is my original data and it dynamically updates. So whenever you add more data, it will just auto update that graph I created earlier. 
And again, I create a pivot table. This time I want a question of what's the most popular brand in my closet. So again, I go to whatever I'm interested in, which is brand. Oh, I'm just showing you the stuff I have, the brand, and then I'm also unchecking the show totals. Now I'm going to go to values and I'm adding the item name which is just gonna give me a count of how many items is sold for that brand. See so I've I've had I had a count of the brand. Now if you want to sort um based on what's the most popular brand I'm gonna go to the brand itself go to descending and that's actually alphabetical so I'm gonna go by the count instead of alphabetical brand name so I'm gonna go to the brand again if I move this quicker and I search a sort by the count itself so as you can see no brand is my most popular item forever 21 is second and Zara is third based on that again I insert a chart and in this time I feel like a pie chart is a perfect reflection of this kind of data so I go ahead and select a pie whatever pie you want and then it auto generates that with the percentage as well so that's how you do it Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this tutorial and help for reporting is helpful and help you gain analytics and um, inform you in terms of what type of item sells well in your closet. See you in the next video. Bye.